Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about how to upgrade your uh, operating system to Mavericks. So Apple did make the announcement for Mavericks and Mavericks is out now. Uh, incredibly, it's a free download, uh, which is uh, beyond what, uh, what we normally expect. Usually it's around $20 or so, and so this time they did it as a free, uh, free upgrade. So that works out really well. And so today we're going to talk about how you can uh, make that install to Mavericks happen. And so if you go into your, um, the App Store, uh, you'll usually you'll see an update there. And you can see I've got an update that uh, tells me I can uh, download the upgrade here. If you go back to the main screen, you can see here, this is all the information about uh, Mavericks. Uh, you can see it's got the different screens on there and uh, uh, kind of shows some of the updates. And again, it says download instead of uh, having to pay for it. It is a 5.29 gigabyte download. Uh, so uh, let me go back to updates here. Uh, so I'm going to download it from here and it's going to take a little bit of time to do that. And so again, once you click download, it asks you for your password. So I'm going to put in my password here. And once you put your password in, you can see that now it's starting to download. And it's telling me about uh, 30 some odd minutes. Uh, that'll fluctuate back and forth just depending how many people are uh, hitting the servers at the same time. But uh, this thing will start to download. And so I'm going to let it go through the process of downloading. And uh, when it's done, we'll come back and uh, take a look at some of the other things that we need to do as we do the upgrade to Mavericks. Okay, once the uh, download has completed, it launches right into the uh, installation uh, disk image here for Mavericks. You can see here's the information here. All we need to do is click continue. So that's, uh, that's what happens when you're done. It's all ready to go. Now, this is your last chance before you click continue to make sure you've got everything in line. Uh, if you haven't watched uh, my tutorial that I've done on preparing your Mac uh, for Mavericks, you might want to watch that now. I'll put a link here in, on the screen and also one in the, uh, in the no show notes as well so you can find it. Uh, that way you can make sure you've got a bootable clone. Everything's ready to go just in case. Uh, maybe something doesn't go right or maybe there are some applications that are critical to you that you realize later haven't been updated. It'll allow you to get back to where you were before. Another thing we're going to want to do before we actually click the continue is uh, once you have uh, downloaded Mavericks, It'll show up here in your applications area, and if you uh, just scroll down, you can see that it has this install OS X Mavericks image. One of the things you might want to do uh, in the process uh, before you update is to uh, remove the disk image out of here, save it somewhere, so that you could eventually create a USB stick for yourself, so that you have Mavericks on a USB stick or an external drive, so that you don't have to download it again from the App Store if you want to uh, update or you want to make some changes or something goes wrong, you want to update another Mac. Uh, it just makes a simple way to be able to do that. Uh, to do that, you just click on this, and what you want to do is control click on the image, and you want to show package contents. This takes you right into the installation package. And you want to go in here and uh, go down to where you see this install uh, ESD uh, DMG. Uh, this is what you want to save. This is the installation. You can see here it's the 5.29 gigabytes. That right there is the self-contained install image. And so what we're going to do is actually just uh, copy that. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, just control C and copy that. And then move it to wherever you want to. And so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to Documents, uh, maybe go to my computer area here, and I'm just going to paste it in here. So Control-V. And now you can see that it's adding the image into this file. And you can see it's starting to copy it. It's going to take a couple minutes uh, to download that over to the file uh, because of its size. So I'm going to let it uh, do this copy. As soon as this copying is done, uh, then I'll come back and show you, uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so now it's finished uh, copying. You can see I've got the disk image right here. Uh, that was the one that I just copied. Uh, you might want to rename it if you want to. Uh, you can put in here, you know, Mavericks. And do it that way, so that that way you know which disk image it is. And just uh, click off it. And now we've got it right here, ready to go. And there's our disk image. And so you can save that, and uh, you can make a USB drive out of that, or put that on a USB drive. And that'll allow you to uh, be able to restore Mavericks later or, again, do it off the drive. Uh, probably in another tutorial, I'll show you how to make that USB drive. But I just wanted you to put that aside for right now so you actually have the copy over here. Okay, now that we've done that, let me just uh, put this down. And so now uh, we're going to install Mavericks by clicking Continue. So what I'm going to do is walk you through part of this process. And then there's a point at which um, I'm going to have to go uh, to a camera just to kind of show you step by step what it looks like. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to click continue, 
I'm going to click this button here. And it takes you through the licensing terms and agreements. And so you just need to agree to that. And it says, I've read the terms and software agreement, and I agree. So it just wants to make sure I agree. I say yes. And then it says, uh, here's where we're going to install uh, the actual operating system on your main hard drive. Uh, you can also click Show All Disks to show it all, but you can just uh, leave it on your boot drive because that's where you want it. And then you just click Install. Okay, I'm on my camera now, and so now all I need to do is click uh, Restart, and it will restart my Mac and start the install process. You can see I've got to close uh, open applications that are open before, so it's going to close those for me. And it's preparing to restart and should start going through the process here in just a second. Okay, so you can see that uh, now it's starting to install a server on my hard drive. And so pretty soon here it should give me about the amount of time it should take to install it. As you can see there, about 44 minutes. So I'm going to let this run and then I will come back uh, after it's gotten to the place where it's ready to restart. Okay, here we are. The computer's ready to restart. And so I'm going to let it restart. Or you could click the restart button. And so we're going to let it go through the process here and see what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so here we are back on the completing installation. Uh, one of the things you need to be aware of is it did hang uh, at the very end there. It hung on, you know, a few minutes left. So if you ever get those hangs where it's just sort of hanging there and it doesn't look like anything's happening, just wait. You may have to wait a long time, but eventually uh, it does go through and, and start up again. You don't want to stop it because then you stop the install process and you'll have to wipe your drive and start over. So it should give us the estimated time remaining here in a second. Okay, so it looks like we've got about seven minutes remaining. So I'm going to let that uh, complete the installation and we'll see what it looks like uh, when we're done. Okay, so here we are. It's asking for my Apple ID and password. Uh, and so you have to set up iCloud again. So let me put that in here and click continue. And now it's asking about iCloud Keychain. And so you set up a keychain uh, because you can sync uh, your keychain across iCloud. And so it asks if you want to set that up or not. So I'm going to say uh, yes on that because I do want to set that up. So I'm going to click continue. And so it's going to get it started. And now it asks for a four-digit numeric iCloud security code so that uh, when you're adding other devices, you can put that code in and it'll allow access to your keychain. And so you'll notice that down here there's advanced options. Let me click that. And you can change your code. You can use a complex code, a random one, or don't create one at all. And so those are some of the options that you can set. Uh, I'm going to go back because I want to leave it alone. And I'm just going to put in a four-digit code for myself here. Okay, now it asks for a phone number, uh, again, to send SMS messages, just in case uh, it needs to for security. And so it's a phone number that you can receive text messages on. I'm going to put in a number here. Uh, for myself so that I can retrieve those things. All right, click Continue. And now it's setting up our Mac, my Mac, and we should be ready to go. Okay, here we are on the desktop now that it's launched. And uh, as you can see, I, uh, I we've got the wave here, so we know that we're on the Mavericks desktop. Uh, what's going to happen is you'll get a number of these pop-ups that will come up uh, where applications that wanted to use Keychain before, where you've authorized it, you have to reauthorize it. Uh, the same is true with uh, your contacts and, and things like that. It got reset. So you'll have to click these allows, and it'll probably pop up uh, every once in a while to show it again. So we're just going to say always allow for that application and let it go ahead and launch. And we may get a few of those that will pop up as well. One of the first things you want to do uh, at the end of your upgrade is go into the App Store and just pull up uh, the update section of the App Store and just look at all of the different things that now will show as updates because you have upgraded uh, to Mavericks. If you had pages and numbers and, and iPhoto before and iMovie, those will automatically show updates, uh, free updates to bring them up to uh, Mavericks level. And so uh, take a look at that and go through and update your apps and you should be uh, you should be in good shape. Well, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to upgrade to uh, Mavericks uh, that walks you through the process step by step. Uh, for those of you that are using server, I will be doing uh, a tutorial on what it looks like to upgrade to Mavericks server. And then, of course, we'll walk through all of the, the different features and things that are there. I'll probably do a screencast, too, on some of the new features in Mavericks. Uh, but uh, for now, that at least shows you how to upgrade. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.